I think one of the roles of scientists in society is to be able to help make predictions. And so we can gaze into our crystal ball and say, well, if climate change continues on the trajectory that it's happening now, here's what it's gonna look like here in 50 years. We can try and tell society, uh, here's what we project is going to happen in the future. If you don't like that future, then we need to do something about it. I first came to Gothic as a student in 1971, taking two classes at the Rocky Mount Biological Lab, uh, and then came back as a graduate student for five years, and then as a faculty member for 40-something years, and now as a retiree for another 10 years. This is our 54th year here. Partly as a consequence of having worked out here for so long, I, I have a lot of different projects out here. Mostly they're related to wildflowers and climate change, and then how that in turn is affecting pollinators. We need so many pollinators because they maintain the diversity of plants that we see. And that's both uh, the diversity of the wildflowers that we see out here, the hundreds of species of wildflowers, but also uh, crops that we eat. Last week we had nine open lupin flowers. Um, that was Friday, and today we have 147 open lupin flowers. <laughs> I have the good fortune that my team out here includes both my son, who grew up spending summers out here since age one, and his wife, who he met out here. Uh, the two of them are ecologists at Florida State University, and uh, several years ago decided to, to start research projects out here. So I'm gonna go put this out on the track. This is just the collection jar that goes to the top of the track. Pull out this tissue. So bugs can go up this funnel and then they get stuck in here. My main project here is one that my father started in 1973 and my wife and I have taken the lead in the last several years. And it's tracking the timing of flowering for a whole bunch of wildflower species in permanent plots that we visit three times a week and we count all the open flowers of every species. Nine, one. I've been coming out here since I was one. I came out initially as a, as a baby Seven. and grew up out here, spending all my summers here and visiting in the winters. My childhood out here is, is absolutely the reason why I'm back here as a researcher. Although it's a great place for to be a, a biologist, the professional network is, is great. There's wonderful colleagues. It's an exciting place to, to do research. So I'm, I'm happy to be here. But I probably wouldn't be here if I hadn't known about it already and had this strong connection to it and wanting to come back for, for family reasons as well as professional reasons. I would sometimes help my father when I was growing up, but actually he was pretty good about not making me uh, work with him and help him. And I think that's in part because he didn't want to scare me off of science or biology. I think the fact that he grew up spending summers out here had an impact on his career choice. It was great that he decided to become an ecologist because it meant that we could talk shop. <laughs> uh, it was great when he found a woman out here uh, to be his wife who was also an ecologist because now the three of us, plus my wife Bonnie and our granddaughter, sit around the dinner table several times a week and uh, share dinner and share conversation. We're glad to be able to come back out here where we met and continue doing research out here and bring our daughter so that she can enjoy being in the mountains and, and also have time to spend with her grandparents. It's magical. Imagine your most peaceful memory and then add like awe-inspiring to that. That's kind of what it is to be out here. You're in this beautiful valley surrounded by these huge mountains. It kind of puts you in scale, but at the same time, like not in an imposing way. There's things that are bigger than me out here, but I still matter. We're, we're trying very hard not to push her in any particular direction. She likes math, she likes science, she likes music, many interests, and she's you know, got plenty of time to, to pick her own path. So I don't want to push her towards any particular thing. Being out here helps me have a better understanding of how important it is to preserve the natural world. I think it's really important to continue this project.